There are many times that I need a well-placed light while turning at the lathe, or working at other tools in my shop. Finding an adequate lighting solution can be a costly endeavor. However, I was able to make an adjustable light on a magnetic base affordably using a small lamp from Ikea and a small scrap of wood. Stick around so I can show you how I did it. This project requires very few materials, such as this block of wood, a fairly strong magnet from the big box store, a Jans Joe flexible neck lamp from Ikea, a compass, a set of calipers, a ruler, and a pencil. Once you have collected your items, use the ruler to find center on the block of wood by marking a line from corner to corner. Once you have found center, use your compass to draw the largest possible circle onto your block of wood. Next, you'll need to determine the size of the recess that you'll need to drill into the block of wood to seat your magnet. So take your magnet out of the packaging and use the calipers to get an accurate measurement of the outer diameter of the magnet. You'll also need to take out the lamp so that you can get a few dimensions off the base for the holes you'll need to drill in order to mount the lamp to the base. Using the depth finder feature on the end of your calipers, you can determine the minimum depth of the holes you'll need to mount the two posts at the base of your lamp. These two screws will allow you to secure your lamp to your new base and you will also want to get a measurement of the length of the two posts. This step is optional, but I took a measurement of the recess in order to have a flush mount at the base of the lamp. The first hole that I'm going to drill is the hole for the recess. I just guesstimated at the depth as this is not a particularly important measurement. Next, using a center finder, I mark the center of the, of the base cover that's included with the lamp and drill a small hole. Using the bit that I used to drill the hole seated in the center divot of the Forstner bit hole as a reference, I was able to use the base cover piece as a template of sorts to accurately locate the holes for the lamp posts. Using the correctly sized bit, I drilled the holes for the post. These holes can go all the way through. I may have lost the footage, but at some point a small hole should be drilled all the way through at the center of your new base piece. You'll use this as a reference to line up the bit that drills the recess for the magnet on the opposite side of the block. Using that small hole as a reference, drill a hole that is deep enough that the magnet portion will still protrude out of the bottom of the base. You will also want to use some sort of clamp to hold the block while drilling this hole. This hole is optional as you could simply screw the magnet to the bottom of the block of wood, but I think it looks better to seat it in a recess. Use a small Forstner bit to create a recess just deep enough to allow the head of the screws and washers to be installed without interfering with seating of the magnet. At this point, the base has been prepared and you can stop here with the shaping. However, if you want a nicer looking base, you can cut the corners off your block, making the base round, and you can even take it to the lathe and get creative with the shape of the base then sand and finish as you see fit.
Now it's time for some assembly. Insert the posts into the holes and add screws and washers. Insert the magnet and install a screw through the center and that's it. You may have noticed that my base cracked a little on the edge. I should have left a little bit more material on the edge of the piece surrounding the magnet, but it didn't affect the performance at all. This light works great. The large base coupled with a strong magnet makes for easy positioning. The head of the lamp is very small and the neck is flexible yet holds most all positions making it easy to get light right where you need it. This lamp works great at the lathe or any other tool with a steel with steel surfaces to stick the magnet to. Total cost is under 20 bucks, a total win in my book. If you find this and any of my other videos helpful, like and subscribe, but most importantly share with others who might find this useful. And remember to dread not and make something. Peace.